Characteristics of Behavior Modification Focus on Behavior Behavior modification procedures are designed to change behavior, not a personal characteristic or trait. Therefore, behavior modification de-emphasizes labeling. For example, behavior modification is not used to change autism. Autism is a label. Rather, behavior modification is used to change problem behaviors exhibited by children with autism. Behavioral excesses and deficits are target for change with behavior modification procedures. In behavior modification, the behavior to be modified is called the target behavior. Behavioral excess is an undesirable target behavior the person wants to decrease in frequency, duration, or intensity. Smoking is an example of a behavioral excess. Behavioral deficit is a desirable target behavior the person wants to increase in frequency, duration, or intensity. Exercise and studying are possible examples of behavioral deficits. Guided by the theory and philosophy of behaviorism, the guiding theoretical framework behind behavior modification is behaviorism, initially developed by B.F. Skinner. Behaviorism quartenets are the behavior slothful and controlled by environmental events occurring in close temporal relation to the behavior. Procedures based on behavioral principles Behavior modification is the application of basic principles originally derived from experimental research with laboratory animals. The scientific study of behavior is called the Experimental Analysis of Behavior or Behavior Analysis. The scientific study of human behavior to help people change behavior in meaningful ways is called Applied Behavior Analysis. Behavior modification procedures are based on research in applied behavior analysis that has been conducted for more than 50 years. Emphasis on Current Environmental Events Behavior modification involves assessing and modifying the current environmental events that are functionally related to the behavior. Human behavior is controlled by events in the immediate environment and the goal of behavior modification is to identify those events. Once these controlling variables have been identified, they are altered to modify the behavior. Successful behavior modification procedures alter the functional relationship between the behavior and the controlling variables in the environment to produce a desired change in the behavior. Sometimes, labels are mistakenly identified as the causes of behavior. For example, a person might say that a child with autism engages in problem behaviors such as screaming, hitting himself, refusal to follow instruction because the child is autistic. In other words, the person is suggesting that autism causes the child to engage in the behavior. However, Autism is simply a label that describes the patterns of behaviors the child engages in. The label cannot be the cause of the behavior because the label does not exist as a physical entity or event. The causes of the behavior must be found in the environment. Precise Description of behavior modification procedures. 
behavior modification procedures involve specific changes in environmental events that are functionally related to the behavior. For the procedures to be effective each time they are used, the specific changes in environmental events must occur each time by describing procedures precisely. Researchers and other professionals make it more likely that the procedures will be used correctly each time. Treatment implemented by people in everyday life. Behavior modification procedures are developed by professionals. However, behavior modification procedures often are implemented by people such as teachers, parents, job supervisors, or others to help people change in their behavior. People who implement behavior modification procedures should do so only after sufficient training. Precise descriptions of procedures and professional supervision make it more likely that parents, teachers, and others will implement procedures correctly. Measurement of Behavior Change One of the hallmarks of behavior modification is its emphasis on measuring the behavior before and after intervention to document the behavior change resulting from the behavior modification procedures. In addition, ongoing assessment of the behavior is done well beyond the point of intervention to determine whether the behavior change is maintained in the long run. If a supervisor is using behavior modification, he or she would record the worker's behavior for a period before implementing the procedures. The supervisor would then implement the behavior modification procedures and continue to record the behavior. This recording would establish whether the number of units assembled increased. If the worker's behavior changed after the supervisor intervention, he or she would continue to record the behavior for a further period. Such long-term observation would demonstrate whether the workers continued to assemble units at the increased rate or whether further intervention was necessary. The emphasis on past events as causes of behavior. As stated earlier, behavior modification places emphasis on recent environmental events as the causes of behavior. However, knowledge of the past also provides useful information about environmental events related to the current behavior. For example, previous learning experiences have been shown to influence current behavior. Therefore, understanding these learning experiences can be valuable in analyzing current behavior and choosing behavior modification procedures. Although information and past events is useful, knowledge of current controlling variables is most relevant to the developing effective behavior modification intervention because those variables, unlike past events, can still be changed. Rejection of Hypothetical Underlying Causes of Behavior Although some fields of psychology, such as Trojan psychoanalytic approaches, might be interested in hypothesized underlying causes of behavior, such as an unresolved Oedipus complex. Behavior modification rejects such hypothetical explanation of behavior. Skinner in 1974 has called such explanation explanatory fictions because they can never be approved or disproved and thus are unscientific. The supposed underlying causes can never be measured or manipulated to demonstrate 
a functional relationship to the behavior they are intended to explain.